Yo, 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 Mr. Josh here coming at you with another vlog. Yesterday we were talking about delivery methods. Today we're also going to talk about delivery methods. Our delivery methods are manuscript, memorization, extemporaneous, and the impromptu method. Yesterday we spoke all about the manuscript method. That is when you write down your speech word for word and then you read it off to your audience. Reading. Today we're going to talk about the other methods. Hopefully all of them. Let's talk about memorization method. Memorization is exactly what it means. You memorize your speech. You get your outline. You transfer the information onto a piece of paper or a Word document. You type out the entire speech and instead of bringing the speech up there with you, you memorize every single word and present it to your audience. One of the biggest downfalls of a memorization method of delivery is the fact that if you forget something, you have nothing to fall back on. Because there's no speech in front of you. Another downfall of a memorization method is sometimes it could sound rehearsed. Rehearsed. Let's talk about the extemporaneous method. This is my favorite method. Why? 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 It's because word patterns and bullet points are used. That's right. In an extemporaneous speech, words and phrases are written down onto note cards. Or you could use your outline. And you use these short words or phrases as talking points. <sighs> That means if I'm doing a speech about Tim Duncan, and I want to tell you about where he grew up in the U.S. Virgin Islands, I might not write down an entire sentence stating Tim Duncan grew up in the U.S. Virgin Islands. I might just write down Virgin Islands. And by reading Virgin Islands, that would be enough to trigger something in my mind to talk about my next talking point. This method actually saves a lot of time, especially if you already developed an outline, because you don't have to worry about typing up another speech word for word. You just use the talking points already in your outline. Or transfer them onto a note card. Note cards come in handy get some note cards. Another benefit about an extemporaneous method is the fact that it shouldn't sound rehearsed, nor should it sound like you're reading off of something, but to an audience. Let's talk about the impromptu method. The impromptu method is probably the most dangerous method. Dangerous method. Dangerous method. <laughs> in the impromptu method, you're organizing your speech in the moment. In the moment. That's right. There's minimal preparation beforehand. Minimal preparation beforehand. You're using all the information that you currently have in your mind. In your mind. You may still have an outline, but you definitely didn't bring it with you. All the research beforehand, you probably didn't organize, which means you're left to formulate a speech at that current point in time. Impromptu speeches are beneficial if you are confident, if you are well-versed, if you're very knowledgeable, and probably if you're already a gifted public speaker. They develop the speech in the moment. Now in speech class, what we're going to do is we're actually going to choose each of these speeches and focus only on a specific type of delivery when presenting to a class. So as I mentioned, your first speech is going to be a manuscript speech and then you'll do an extemporaneous speech, you'll do a memorization speech. Excuse me. That's what we're going to practice in speech class. But the best speakers know how to mix and match these delivery methods.